Welcome to this lecture on OCI streaming service for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So in this lecture, we'll describe Oracle Cloud Infrastructure streaming service. We'll look at different concepts of the streaming service and we'll also look at how to create a stream, publish, and consume messages from that stream. So what is OCI Streaming Service? Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Streaming Service uh, provides a fully managed, scalable, and durable storage. And it's a solution for ingesting continuous high volume streams of data. And this data then can later on be consumed and processed in real time. So what kind of data uh, is this uh, service uh, ingesting? This could be a very high volume data such as application logs, operational telemetry, uh, web clicks where you're tracking on uh, different clicks on a website and what the consumer is browsing or other, other data on that website. And there are other use cases in which data is produced and process continuously and sequentially in a published subscribe messaging model. So there's a message that is published, somebody subscribe to it, subscribes to it, and then consumes and analyzes it. So there are a lot of uh, different examples and use cases. Some of example use cases are metrics and log ingestion. So you can use a streaming service as an alternate for traditional file scrapping approach. Uh, this will make critical operational data more quickly available for indexing, analysis, and visualization. The other could be messaging, uh, where you can use the stream to decouple components of large systems. So streaming will provide a fully uh, pull buffer back based communication model with sufficient capacity to flatten load spikes and the ability to feed multiple consumers with the same data independently. The other use could be other use case could be web uh, mobile activity data ingestion. So in this case, you can use streaming for capturing activity from websites or mobile apps. And this activity could be page views, searches, or other action users may take. And once this information is collected, it can be used in real time. Uh, for monitoring and analytics. Uh, you can also use it in a data warehousing type of uh, system where this information is processed offline. The other use case could, uh, could be infrastructure and app event processing. So in this case, you can use streaming service as a unified entry point for cloud components to rep report their uh, lifecycle events. And these lifecycle events could be related to audit, accounting or other activities. So as I mentioned, it's an Oracle managed service uh, with REST APIs. You can do create, put, get, delete. Uh, provides a, a very good SLA, 99.95% uh, SLA on availability. So partitions allow you to distribute streams by splitting messages across multiple nodes. So partitions in, in fact, uh, allow you to scale your streaming service. Now, each of this partition can be placed on a separate machine to allow multiple consumers to read a stream in parallel. And these multiple consumers can read from any partition regardless of where the partition is hosted. So a consumer who's consuming the messages can read these messages from one or more stream and each message within a stream is marked with an offset value. So if a consumer is reading a message and there is some interruption, it can pick up where it left off. So with that, if we look at uh, some of the key concepts, a message is a 64-bit encoded uh, record of array of bytes. A key is an identifier to group related messages. A stream, as I mentioned, is an append-only log of messages. And then messages are categorized into topics. And then these topics are broken down into, uh, broken down further, and they are called partitions. So if you compare um, 
it to a database example, a message is a row or record in a database, a key is a byte array, a stream is something like an ever-growing data set where new records keep arriving. A topic would be something like a database table. So one key detail about partitions is that it can be partitions can be hosted on different servers, uh, different AD within a region. So what that means is that a single topic can be scaled horizontally across multiple servers to, perf to provide performance um, that is far beyond the ability of a single server. So some additional concepts, a producer is uh, something that produce, creates a new message, and then a consumer is an entity that reads these messages. So as I mentioned earlier, you basically create topics and messages are published using a topic. So how does a consumer consume these messages? Uh, consumer subscribes to one or more topics. And as I mentioned, messages are published uh, and related to a topic and then reads these messages in order in which they are produced. Now, how does it keep track of uh, what messages it has read or where to pick up to start reading new messages if it stopped? That is done by using the offset. So a consumer keeps track of which messages it has read by using the offset. An offset is nothing more than the location of a message within a stream or partition. So consumer also stores the offset value. That's how it knows where it was when it was trying to or successfully read a message or stop reading a message. And then there is consumer group. And consumer group is basically a set of consumers that coordinate to consume these messages from all of the partitions in a stream. And then each partition is only consumed by one member of the group. So here's a graphical uh, presentation, a presentation of uh, what a consumer group looks like. We can see this consumer group has two consumers. Uh, consumer zero is consuming messages from partition zero and consumer one is consuming messages from partition one and partition two. And it is both of them are keeping track of where they are in terms of consuming these messages using the offset value. Now any kind of rebalancing, which is if a consumer leaves a group or a new consumer joins a group is done automatically as well. So here we see how a stream is created using the user interface for Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Uh, of course, you specify the compartment and stream name, and then you have uh, retention, and that retention is in hours, and it defines the time a message is, is stored on a topic before it is discarded. And then number of partitions, which basically, is, which basically enables uh, parallelism in terms of reading and write operations uh, for this stream. Uh, now, one key point here is that uh, uh, there is some uh, there are some IAM policies that are required, and you can find the details of those IAM policies in Oracle's official documentation. So once a stream is provisioned, um, you can see it on the UI as well, and there is also a message endpoint that can be used for any kind of REST API calls. So how does publishing and consuming messages work? So messages basically has a key value pair. Uh, so the message is published to a partition. Uh, if there are more than one partition, then the partition where the message gets published depends on the messages key. And, mes and messages produced with the same key that is not null will get written to the same partition. And then consuming these messages requires a cursor and you can see different um, keywords and what, what they'll do. So trim horizon would be if you want to consume an entire message. Add time would be if you want to start consuming from a given time. So there are different values that can be specified that will dictate on how the message is consumed. So some design cons considerations uh, would include um, considering 
parameters like retention time, uh, which is currently maximum seven days, a uh, maximum message size, which is one megabyte, uh, how many emit and read API calls per second uh, each partition can handle, the write and read rate of each partition, and limit per tenancy in terms of how many partitions can be created, which is currently at five, but of course uh, you can request more if that's what is needed uh, to for your project or your implementation. So here's a quick overview of uh, migration path from Event Hub Cloud Services. If you need REST APIs, then use OCI Streaming Service, Oracle Manage, Simple, Economical, and Scalable. Uh, if you need Apache Kafka, then you can use Apache Kafka from OCI Marketplace, it's customer managed, uh, provisioning assistance is provided. If you need Enterprise Kafka, then you can use Confluent Kafka in OCI Marketplace. And it's Confluent supported, uh, Enterprise Feature, and Confluent Control Center. Thank you for watching this lecture and I hope it was useful.